You see this Deathclaw? This giant mutated lizard creature? Well, is this massive lizard from a fictional video game franchise a boy or a girl? I understand that this is a weird question, and you might be thinking at this point, why? Who cares? Well, the answer is that I care because I've stumbled upon a major Fallout conspiracy that goes all the way to the top of Todd Howard's stupid fucking forehead. Let me explain. About a year and a half ago, I released my video about beating the hardest Deathclaw at level 1, which uh, you should really not watch. Anyways, during that video, I went on a tangent about the gender of the Deathclaw in question. RAR. RAR is a girl. You want to know why? RAR is guaranteed- This part wasn't supposed to be any top-level game theory-ass analysis or anything. It was just supposed to be some random goofy thing I thought was funny to talk about for all of 15 seconds. Despite that, I am still getting comments arguing about the gender of the fictional lizard creature. Why? Who cares? Well, a lot of people, apparently. Most of the comments about it are arguing that RAR is a boy, with a handful agreeing with me, and a couple jokes about fucking death claws, because of course there is. As a side note, one of the comments I got on this subject happens to be my favorite comment on my entire channel, because it uses the phrase, proceeded to reach into its death clussy. Whoever wrote this comment, contact me, I want to give you a medal. But what's most staggering about these comments is that I am still getting them over a year and a half later. So clearly, the only way I can stem the tide of these comments is if I do some investigating and figure out, once and for all, the gender of RAR. So, regrettably, I decided to dive deep into the death pussy and find out just how deep this shit goes. So, my original point in the video was that RAR is a girl because they are guaranteed to drop Deathclaw eggs, and the only other Deathclaws that are guaranteed to drop those are Deathclaw mothers. RAR is a girl. You wanna know why? RAR is guaranteed to drop a Deathclaw egg on death, and the only other places that have guaranteed Deathclaw egg drops are places that have Deathclaw mothers in them. Therefore, RAR is a female. Case closed. But a lot of commenters had issues with that because of RAR's appearance in-game. Namely, the point that kept coming up was the horns. RAR's horns curve forwards towards their face, while Deathclaw Mother's horns curve away. This visual difference seems to imply that female Deathclaw's horns curve backwards, and since RAR's horns curve forwards, they're a boy. Case closed. But of course the mainstream media would tell you that RAR is a dude. That's just what the man wants you to think. So let's dig deeper, shall we? If you look at the confirmed female deathclaws from Fallout 1 and 2 from Vault 13, you can clearly see their horns face forward. And while we can excuse those because of graphical limitations of the time and shit like that, in Fallout 4, the deathclaw matriarch enemy's horns very clearly face forward. So it's clear that this isn't a female trait, and this argument doesn't really hold any water. What's interesting about this point to me is that basically all of these comments mention the horns. Why? What's so important about horns anyway? Well, I decided to dig even deeper, so I searched horny female deathclaw on Google and... FBI should be knocking this door any minute now. However, these comments do bring up a good point about RAR's appearance, which is that RAR's model isn't actually unique. It's actually a reused model of the Deathclaw Alpha Male, which means that now we have conflicting information again. RAR is guaranteed to drop multiple eggs on death, which implies that they're female, but they also have the appearance of a Deathclaw Alpha Male, which implies that they're male. So what's the right answer? Well, I'm gonna be honest, I'm really not sure. There are valid arguments for both sides, but we just don't have enough information to come to a compelling conclusion. On the side of RAR is male, there's the fact that they literally do have the model of a confirmed male Deathclaw, and while the egg evidence is compelling, 
Deathclaw alpha males can drop eggs too, even though they have a very low chance to. Maybe they're just holding them for other female Deathclaws? In fact, one comment speculated from this point by saying, other Deathclaws spawn outside of Rar's cave entrance. Maybe that's where the eggs come from. Which, hold on. Did you just imply that Rar has a Deathclaw harem? <laughs> but on the female side, there's the fact that Deathclaw alpha males can only drop one egg at only a 15% chance, while Rar can drop 2 to 3 100% of the time, and only Deathclaw mothers have a rate that high. And as for the model, while it is definitely a Deathclaw alpha male, Obsidian could have also just reused the model without thinking about it. I mean, it's not the first time they've done something like that. Or maybe it was just an oversight. Who knows? I think the most logical tackling of this dilemma is a comment that I saw that's kind of long, but the key sentence is right here. Perhaps it's a design oversight, maybe Rar was meant to be female but the wrong model was used, or maybe Rar was meant to be male but the wrong loot table was used. And while this is a compelling argument, the more I think about this problem, the more I lean on the side of Rar being male. For two reasons. One, Rar having the model of a Deathclaw alpha male is more compelling evidence than the loot you receive from Rar. And two, referring back to what the comment said, I think it's more likely that they use the wrong loot table than use the wrong model, because using the wrong model is a much bigger fuck up. So now that we've 100% proven that Rar is a boy through my absolutely flawless logic, that means that I fucked up. I'm sorry guys, I know I told you all that Rar was a girl like two years ago, but that was wrong. I misgendered the fictional lizard creature. My bad. But there is another possibility that we have not explored yet. Which brings me to my next amazing epic game theory, which is that RAR is intersex. This would explain how they have so many eggs, because they... you know. But it also explains how they had the appearance of a male Deathclaw. Clearly, this is what Obsidian meant all along, and Bethesda has been hiding it. Why did they make the horns face backwards in Fallout 4 when that's clearly wrong? This is a cover-up perpetrated by Todd Howard and his stupid, dumbass fucking face. Okay, to simmer down for a second, maybe that is true. Or maybe, just maybe, they didn't put any thought into what gender Rar is because they are a mutated lizard that you kill in a video game. What am I even doing here? I don't know why I made this video other than ample opportunities to make Deathclaw sex jokes, which honestly, worth it. But I'm tired and I think we need to shut this whole thing down. Feel free to argue about this in the comments, but know that if you do it, you will get zero respect from me. Be sure to like and subscribe and all that bullshit. I'm the Logamuffin, and if I see any comments mentioning Death Clussy Fever, I'm coming to your house and giving you a wet willy. Goodbye.